Hello YouTube, my name is Sam, and yes, I know I'm a little unshaven, but you know what, who cares? This video is going to be about the male loneliness epidemic, especially with regard to romantic relationships, and one major point that a lot of people are missing, especially guys. Now, a couple weeks ago, I made a post on Reddit on how the male loneliness epidemic, especially with regards to romantic relationships, is largely self-inflicted. A uh, couple things that I mentioned is that, number one, um, dating apps have psychologically made women uh, a lot more selective than they ever have been, which means that guys can no longer get away with doing the bare minimum. They have to do something, anything, to stand out. And two, a lot of men have unfortunately been brainwashed by a bunch of that red pill content BS, which does nothing but turn you into a raging misogynist. And, well... The thread got remo removed because I didn't reply to very many of the comments that were left, which kind of makes sense when a lot of the comments were doing nothing but, you know, throwing ad hominem attacks against me. Now, one of the comments I want to read to you here is exactly what I'm talking about. Because at first I thought that this was one of those, you know, rad fems who just hate men and blah, blah, blah. But this actually makes a lot of good points, which I'll explain after I read this to you here, I'm also going to throw it up on the screen so you can see it as well. It goes by this. Women have never just fallen at the feet of the first man to be nice to them and stayed with them forever, even in pre-dating app times. Women have always been able to choose which mate they wanted to a certain extent, and most normal women have had a few offers. The biggest difference is in dating apps, it's that women can have jobs and bank accounts. This problem was already starting with boomers and Gen X and older millennials who remember dating apps being less common. Men aren't competing with other men, they're competing with the fact that women are allowed to live alone now. And some men literally come up short when women are comparing living with a partner to not living with a partner. Literally all my female friends and all the female dating guides and feminist thinkers and stuff keep repeatedly saying this and men aren't listening. It turns out that if women aren't financially dependent on, a, uh, on men, most men don't have much to offer a woman other than sex. Most men who are raised in traditional households or by single moms are simply not trained to look after themselves when a woman is present and they expect a woman to do more housework, more active listening, and communicating to man's emotional needs, more adaptation to the habits of the male partner, more child care if they have kids, more household planning, and be sexually attractive and available to them. And it turns out that most women don't want to do that and think it's too much work. And when we ask men to do things to be better partners and try to get them to show up mentally and emotionally as equals, they get threatened, shut down, and assume it's the fault of us having more access to random men on dating apps. It's not. We have vibrators and chocolate in our own jobs, dude. That's what you're competing with. Not some giga chad. Just not having to pick up after a grown adult or gamify getting our needs met using some kind of weird condescending mommy kink for you to listen to us. And then she goes on to list a bunch of TikTok videos, which I'm not going to click on. And then, of course, uh, I don't know what video that YouTube thing is. Again, I'm not going to click on that. Don't be this guy. It doesn't matter if you don't have a perfect jawline or and perfect hair and, well, I'm not going to say that. Literally, just don't make her wake up every morning, roll over and hear your voice in the next morning going, Oh, thank God you're awake. I'm so hungry. Have your shit together. Basically, what that means is that thanks to societal and legislative advancements, women have more opportunities than they ever have before. They have jobs that they never had access to before. They have educational opportunities that they have never had access to before. They can basically live alone and be perfectly fine without a man, and many times, dragging them down. Okay? And you have to have something to offer a woman. And... The, the, the reply to this comment that I'm going to read to you next perfectly illustrates that. Nailed it. On dates, they're selling their possessions like they have what I want, their own house, car, boat, whatever, and never bother to find out that I work to have those things for myself. Where's your actual personality? What about you being in my life would increase my joy instead of only increasing my emotional labor and expecting gender norm things like I'm always going to cook for you and you rarely have to. Oh, OMG, you did the dishes once? I should be groveling. 
Oh, but you didn't realize that all the other times it was me, nor did you thank me? No, be genuine. Be self-aware. Take responsibility for yourself and ownership of what you want instead of whining about nobody liking you. If you don't have a personality or interest beyond yourself, of course it's going to be a lonely, boring life. Basically, what, what, what she's trying to say is, it's no longer going to cut it to just have a nice house, a nice car, and a nice career. You have to do something, anything to stand out. Otherwise, women are oftentimes are not going to choose you, and if they do actually go out with you, it's not going to last past the second or third date. Okay? That's really all there is to it. A lot of men fail to realize that nowadays, a lot of women would rather be alone sipping a glass of wine than it is to be dragged down by, by, by a man. And another thing too, a lot of people are going to say, well, what about her needs? And when I say needs, I mean her sexual needs. Well, as that original comment I read to you pointed out, women don't even need a man for that anymore. They have toys, they have their, you know, fingers. And to be honest with you, if they do want the touch of a human to satisfy them, they don't even need a man for that. With the amount of women nowadays that are coming out as bisexual, all they have to do is invite one of their female friends over, get drunk, and les out for the night. So, it, you know, women can, don't even need a man for that anymore. So, guys, as the original, as the original comment I read said, we got to get our shit together. We got to do something. Because... Years ago, somebody asked me this question. What do you have to offer a woman besides Sam Davidowitz? Like I said, and like that person said, you have to have something to offer besides, well, stuff that she already has. Because otherwise, this male loneliness epidemic is going to continue. And with that, guys, I have said enough for this. I shall see you around soon. Have a good night. Bye.